sound off in the beginning We ain't losing, we back to winning Hometown love been repping from the start Nothing but bananas, red and gold in my heart And we What's going on, Faithfuls? This is your boy Mike of the Nothing But Niners crew, and we are here, Mick, and we have a very special guest, my guy Cole Hicatini. How you doing? I'm good. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Nick, what's going on over there, buddy? Same old, same old, man. Super excited and pumped to have you, Cole. Appreciate it and uh, honored to have you on, man. And uh, congratulations on signing with the Niners, and uh, can't wait to see you on the field, man. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, I'm extremely happy to be here, so... Just ready to go win some games. Sounds good. Sounds I like good. it. I like it. So let's uh, let's jump into it. I know you guys have been busy. You've been working out hard, getting ready to get back to a uh, training camp and all. Like, how's that been for you? It's been good. I mean, um, coaching staff here is great. Strength staff is great. Uh, they get after us. So workouts aren't easy, but uh, it's all worth it. So it's fun stuff. Okay. Awesome. All right. I like that. And now, I wanted to take you back before uh, we, like, get too much into what's going on right now. I wanted to ask you about some stuff from college, okay? Um, first thing is, let's, let's show some respect to Louisville. You guys did a wonderful job. You guys have the uh, Heisman Trophy winner over there, as well as the uh, baseball accolade, too, right? Yep, that's true. Brandon McKay won the Golden Spikes and about every other award you could win <laughs> as a baseball player. Yeah. That is awesome. What was the atmosphere like out there, man? Your last year in uh, in Louisville, what was the atmosphere like for sports? It was crazy. Um, I mean, we had a couple of college game day games. Um, the Mars Heisman hype and all that ended up winning the Heisman. Um, it was uh, definitely a, a task for the coaches to keep us focused on each week um, rather than focusing, getting our head caught up in all that. But uh, it was fun. I mean, Great atmosphere. Louisville has the best fans in the country. Um, it was great. Awesome. Absolutely awesome, man. Um, wanted to ask you about working, obviously, with your quarterback over there. Um, he, there's, there's nothing that I can say about him that people don't already know. But I'm just curious as the your thoughts on uh, what he's going to bring to the table, um, and what do you think? How do you think you guys helped each other for your careers going forward? I think he helped me tremendously. Um, I mean, he got the ball in my hands as many times as he could. So uh, I think that helped me out big time. Um, he's a probably the best athlete I've ever played with or against. Um, the kid's unreal. I mean, I've seen him throw the ball 85 yards in the air, and then he'll, he runs almost parallel to the ground when he cuts. So. Uh, he's just a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal football player, and a great dude. So um, I think he's going to bring a lot to the table at the next level. Um, just get into a system that he can really understand and grasp. Um, and I think you guys are going to see that next year, too. His his IQ is just taking off right now. So um, he's excited. Awesome. He's got to play with and see. All right. And now I want to go back a little bit even before then. So you, when you committed to Louisville – um, you had already uh, agreed with Purdue, right? But then you said something along the lines of you felt like uh, it would be more beneficial to go to Louisville because you could start earlier. Is that correct? Um, no. So what happened, well, I was a mid-year transfer from junior college. So I played six months there and was a December grad. Um, I just felt like it was a better opportunity. Um, the offense, Coach Petrino runs, um, how he likes to utilize his tight ends. Uh, I mean, he had DJ Williams at Arkansas, who won the Mackey. That was one of my goals in college was to win that award. Um, and just his uh, expertise in knowing an offense and how he uh, breaks down games, how he attacks it like an NFL coaching staff would attack the game plan, really. So I thought that was the best thing for me, hopefully helping me in the next step going to the NFL. Awesome. All right, so then what are you doing uh, to get the transition from the NFL? I know um, I heard another interview of yours and you were talking about how you were excited um, to start working out, uh, like you said, the mid-year transfer, getting in there uh, in the spring, you know, to get accustomed to the speed of the game and uh, for the Division One, you know, and uh, that was something that you had to work on. 
What are you doing to work on that now uh, for the transition to the NFL? Um, I think I'm just working out as hard as I can, trying to follow the example that guys here are leading. Um, I mean, you have Joe Staley over here, uh, vet working out every day. I mean, guys like that, you just want to be like, um, stay in the league, have a long career and be very successful. So, I mean, I'm just trying to follow their footsteps. Um, it's new waters for me. Uh, I'm just going to work my tail off and leave no, uh, uncertainties or no doubts in my mind that I could have worked harder or not. So that's really my game plan with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm imagining that you guys don't have a lot of uh, running with like coach Shanahan or even the GM, uh, John Lynch. So I'm, I'm imagining that you're working more with uh, coach Embry. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, coach Embry is our position coach. He does a lot of stuff with us. Um, real, real uh, high IQ on the game. Um, favorite player is Tony Gonzalez. We watch nice. a bunch of film. So, I mean, he's a great coach. He has a lot of experience, knows the system. So, I mean, up That's awesome. really, yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I, I was reading um, something about um, how many teams were interested in you after the draft, uh, even before the draft ended. And Embry was, you know, called you as many as five times. And then it was followed up by Kyle like two times and then Adam Peters. So um, what, you know, you had a lot of other teams looking at you. What, what made you choose the 49ers, if you don't mind me asking? Was it just fit? Yeah, I think uh, the fit was good. Um, my, I mean, my agent knows uh, Peters pretty well. He's talked about how good of a guy he is, um, how this whole organization is uh, headed in a new direction. Um, the opportunity to play here, it was just kind of, I felt like it was the best fit for me. Um, so, I mean, I made the decision how to make it kind of quick. Uh, yeah. I think that's so, like the best decision. Yeah, and, and, we're, and we're glad to have you here. And I, I think the culture has definitely changed, um, you know, over the last three years, and we're heading in that right direction again. And it's, it's appreciative of you being here. What was it like? I mean, I know it had to be tough not getting that phone call during draft days. Um, but what were the emotions like when you did get the calls to sign as an undrafted free agent? Um, I mean, I was extremely happy. Uh, thoughts of why didn't you draft me also went through my head. But, you know, I was definitely excited to be a part of a team. Um, it's been a lifelong dream. I mean, it's been a dream to be a professional athlete, but then football is something I never thought I could do when I was younger. Um, so, I mean, I was just happy at the opportunity, uh, ready to go to work. I just wanted to play football, really. Finally done with the whole draft process. I know where I'm going. I have a plan now. So, uh, it was definitely a like, – Okay. And one of our writers absolutely loves you, man. Uh, his name is Zach. And he, he, like, was talking about you before you even signed with the Niners. And right after you signed with the Niners, he went crazy. A lot of fans absolutely love you, man. Um, I wanted to talk. I wanted to ask you about uh, whether or not you think um, your knee was the reason that you didn't get drafted at all. Do you think that was like the reason? I know you're healed 100 percent, right? Yeah, no, I'm 100 percent now. Um, I definitely think the whole knee injury definitely put a um, asterisk next to my name on the sheets, especially running a slow 40 like I did on pro day. Um, but I mean. I don't think looking back now, I would sit out even knowing that my knee got hurt. Um, that's just not who I am. Uh, I wanted to finish my last game with my teammates. And, yeah. I mean, I don't regret it, so. But okay. I don't yeah. think put a damper on, on uh, being drafted and stuff. Right. I, I have one question also because I read up a lot on you as well, and um, I saw that you didn't start playing football till your senior year. What inspired you to start playing your senior year of, of high school? Well, I played soccer my whole life. Um, was can play competitively. I ended up having a, a hamstring injury in my sophomore season, and I had to get surgery. Couldn't really play at the level I was at before, so I mean, I just wanted to keep competing and I ended up falling in love in, with football and the rest is history really.
I thought I read somewhere too. You played a little bit of DB. Oh uh, yeah, I played safety uh, in high school for a little bit. Huh. That's pretty cool. I was about 195 though, so. <laughs> yeah, you had to bulk up for that tight end position. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Nice. Did you did you play any other positions? I think uh, a little bit of wide receiver also. That was right. Yeah, I play, I, that was my main position in high school was receiver. I played outside. The X. I guess you Got you. Yeah. So then, when, now the transition from wide receiver to tight end—I mean, that can that can be a little bit difficult because of the the different responsibilities, obviously, with uh, line, knowing the line responsibilities and things like that. Uh, what's your favorite part of uh, being a tight end? Like, I know a lot of guys love the contact. A lot of guys, you know, prefer to be more of a receiving type of tight end. What is it that uh, does it for you? Like, what what is it that you get hyped up for? Like, I can't wait for people to see me doing this. I think. Um, I mean. I love the contact. I love the whole aspect of working the middle of the field. You get to go against linebackers. You get to go against safeties, sometimes a corner, nickel. Um, I just like going all over the field, really, and beating the guy who wants to line up in front of me this time or next time or whatever it is. Um, just the competition that you get to go against. You get to go against the best players at each position. So, I mean, it's fun. You get to block a DN, you get to block a linebacker, or – run a route off a safety or linebacker. So, I mean, tight end position is great. I think we have to know the whole offense. We have to know run game, pass, and uh, it's a lot of responsibility, but definitely a, uh, a high reward position. Yeah. What? Who, who was your favorite player growing up? And if, if you have one, do you model your play after anybody in the NFL now? Um. I say my favorite player growing up. I mean, when I was in high school, I was a receiver. Um, but now I say Olsen. I like I like to say my game reflects his a little bit. Um, and a little bit of Gonzalez. He's a little smaller, not as heavy as the rest of the pack, but he gets the job done. Um, he uses his technique, his athletic ability to compete, out leverage, and out smart guys. So I say those two guys. Right, right. So, do you have any specific touchdown celebration that you're gonna? That, have you thought about that crossing the goal line as an NFL player for for the first Man, time? I don't know, honestly. All glory we, to God, but um, maybe one time do a backflip. That was always something I wanted to do. Oh, that'd be awesome. In college, it'd be a 15 yard penalty and a uh, earful from Coach Petrino. So. Yeah. Gotta, yeah. That one. And we just got we the, the rules just changed for that, so now you guys are allowed to celebrate. So that, that's, oh, that's good. yeah, that's awesome in the NFL. So a lot of fans wanted that, and and uh, players love to celebrate. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, touchdowns aren't easy to come by in the league, so it's definitely good that we get to celebrate. Yes, sir. I, all right. So what's it like? We had your roommate on before, George Kittle. What's it like being in the room with him? What what does he bring to the table? Like, is he is he someone who's like always trying to compete with you because you guys share a room? What what's it like uh, rooming with George? No, we're good friends. We I mean we compete and everything, but we also push each other. We hold each other accountable. Um, we both know we're rookies trying to earn a spot. So, I mean, we're doing whatever we can on and off the field, helping each other to be the best either of us can be. Really, so. Um, he's a good roommate. Me and him get along great. We all hang out. I mean, the chemistry on this team is real good. Everyone has one goal, and that's to win a Super Bowl. So we're all doing whatever we got to do to do that. Absolutely. So um, I know you guys are good friends, and ever and everyone competes and everything like that. But is there any like weird stuff like not not weird stuff like that, but like? fighting over the television or like, you know, when you guys have a disagreement of a play or something like that, you're, you're trying to break that kind of stuff down. Like, how do you come to an understanding? Do you call a veteran? Uh, like, is there a veteran that you guys lean on or maybe a coach that uh, kind of pulls you under their wing to help you out with stuff like that? I say Logan. Um, he's like the OG tight end in the room. Yeah. Uh, a lot of wisdom in that with that man. But uh, I mean, it's a, we all we all know what the goal is. We all understand that we're all fighting for a job, but at the same time, we're trying to make each other better. So, I mean, it's a great environment we got in the tight end room. Um, 
It's good stuff. Coach Embry's a great coach. He pushes us, expects a lot from us. Um, but he yeah. also rewards us when we do good things. I mean, it's just – it's a great environment right now. Yeah. Um, and I know Nick asked you previously about, you know, the all the calls that you got um, – when you were an undrafted free agent and all. And I know that previously um, you still decided to go forward and go to the combine, even though you weren't going to do a lot of the running drills. Um, do you think that helped you with the front offices, like the, the opportunities to do the interviews and things like that? Do you think that's something and that's part of the reason why so many teams were interested in your talents? Yeah, I think so. Um, especially only playing at Louisville for two years, I needed to do everything possible to, um, help reflect my image that I want people to see and um, getting to know GMs, getting to know coaches. Uh, I think that was a huge um, asset to do was go to that combine, even though I was only benching um, because I mean, the worst that can happen is, you know, like me talk to him versus, or the worst I can, the worst I can have is me not talking to him. I mean, talking to him is only going to help me, help my case or whatever I'm yeah. trying to do. So, I mean, I thought it was great. Um, it was a long process, though, I'll tell you that. Okay. We're going to wrap this up soon, man. We appreciate you taking this time out to join us. Uh, we just have a few more questions for you. And the one that I want to ask you is, um, if there was one thing you wanted fans to know, not even just 49er fans, even maybe uh, Louisville fans, you know, um, if there's one thing you wanted people to know about you, what would that one thing be? I'm going to give it my all every time. Um, I'm not going to hold anything back. And I love this game, so I'm going to show it on the field every every week. Nice, nice, very nice. I love it. Nice. Hey, uh, Cole, just one thing. We got a fan that's watching live now that asked the question. Um, his name's Steven Heinold. He said, um, have you been meeting up with any quarterbacks for throwing before camp? Uh, we're actually going to meet up in Dallas. Um, on the 10th so we'll get with the bunch of guys on offense are all meeting down there it was kind of a meet or like a center spot to meet where everyone's at right now and uh we're gonna get some throwing in for a couple of days sweet sweet yeah so i i think that's enough of the serious questions mike i think we should go on to uh get it get to know him a little bit more about these silly questions so i guess i'll, I'll start it off but um my, my first question, Cole, is are you a cereal guy? And if so, what's your top three cereals? You said stereo? Cereal, like breakfast oh, cereal. Oh, definitely a cereal guy. Um, top three? Yeah, top, top three. three. Okay, I'm going to have to go with Frosted Rice Krispies. Okay. And we're going to go Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then I'm going to have to say, this is a tough one, uh, Reese's Co Cocoa Puffs. Can't go wrong with the chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Can't go wrong with it. Chill yeah, out, chill out, chill out, chill out. And right, got Cinnamon Toast Crunch is also the best as well. Yeah. yeah I agree with Cinnamon Toast Crunch is awesome. Um, all right. What's your favorite Disney movie? I think growing up, Pocahontas was, but I'm not really a big Disney movie guy. Not into the Disney movies at all anymore. They own they own Marvel now, so you can if you wanted to oh, throw in one of those, then you can. Iron Man, Iron Man for sure. There you go. There we go. Yep. All right. So here's another one. So if you had to impress someone with your cooking, what would be your go-to meal? I make this mean breakfast sandwich. I'm telling you, this thing is unreal. Got you got this. It's Country milk bread. It's a must. You got to put, can't believe it's not butter on both sides. You're going to grill it, toast it, get it nice and golden. Then you get a fried egg, make a fried egg, bacon, spicy sausage, and cheese. I'm oh, telling man. You, put you to sleep for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. It is so that good. is awesome. I mean, you'll make you make one when you get home now. <laughs> I can't eat like that anymore. I know. <laughs> Man, that sounds so good, though. No, it's bomb. Yes. Yeah, All right, I got, I got one for you. Do you have any weird special talents? 
I know some people on the team can juggle. Some guys can walk on their hands for two blocks, backflips or anything like that. I can do a backflip. Really? No, I don't want you to do one. Yeah. I don't want you to do one. I, that's pretty cool, though, man. That's 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 kind of cool. He said uh, on my Instagram. You can go go look me up. Holy cannoli. You scroll down. I got a backflip. Uh, I did in full pads for a photo shoot for Louisville. Check out the Instagram, people. Holy cannoli. All right. I like that. I like that. Yeah, and he said that 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 may be his first touchdown celebration. So that'll be exciting. That'll be exciting. All right, so I got another one. What was your first ever Halloween costume? I think I was Batman. I wanna that's a that's the first one I remember because my cousin was also Batman and he was mad that I was Batman, but I was Batman before he was Batman, so Right. We got a little argument, but it was definitely Batman. If you were to go to a Halloween party now, who would you dress up as? Um, I have to be <laughs> um, and you don't have to answer it if you can't. Just No, no, I, I can answer it, but I'm going to choose not to answer the answer I want to say. Uh, but <laughs> now I'd say um, probably a Reno 911 officer. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, simple. That's a good one. Yeah, I got one more for you and I'll let Nick finish it up. But um, so I have I have this guilty pleasure. It's a song by Beyonce called Get Me Body. And every time this song comes on, I can't help but sing it out loud. I start dancing to it. And I just hate that people see me do that. What is your guilty pleasure? What's something that happens? like, And it's almost embarrassing or something like that. What, what's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure with songs or just in general? In, in general, it could be a song, anything you want. Honestly, I think if I – dogs are my guilty pleasure. If I see a dog, I'll go up to it immediately and try to play with it. Um, but I don't nice. know. I, got, I have a dog, so. What, what, what kind of dog do you have? I have a husky. Oh, yes. Is it a male or female? It's a male. Is his name Jinx? No, his name's Kona. Kona. That's a badass name. What's that He's mean? He's brown. He's brown, so I named him Kona, like after the Kona coffee. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What? Um. So, is Huskies your favorite type of dog? Yeah, actually, uh, I have a back home. We have a pit bull, and I, I mean, I love pit bulls, but um, I think now Huskies definitely my favorite. I uh, love to play whatever you want. Super smart dog, so. Yeah, definitely. Dog. Definitely. All right, and I just got one more, and then we'll let you get out of here. But what's your favorite hobby outside of football? I'd say shooting, like uh, hunting or shooting. Sweet. Do a little yeah. skeet shooting? Yep. We'll yeah, I love skeet shooting. Hunting. So. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to wrap this up, man. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day. We really, really appreciate it, man. We're hoping to see big things from you. You're already a fan favorite. The fans went nuts when they announced that the team picked you up. Uh, we're hoping to see big things from you, and hopefully you can do your backflip uh, a lot of times for the 49ers, man. All right? Nick, All right. go ahead and take this away, baby. Hey, Cole, once again, thanks for joining us, man, and uh, good luck on, on training camp coming up. And, um, you know, make sure you stay on that body, stay healthy, and uh, we, we wish you be the best luck, man. I really appreciate you joining us, but Faithfuls, it was a pleasure. Above all else, stay faithful. Yes. Sir. We out. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you.